16 Simple Things You Can Do Daily to Increase Bone Density Did you know? Over 200 million people worldwide suffer from osteoporosis, a disease that makes the bones brittle, fragile, and prone to break. All people begin losing bone mass after they reach peak bone density, sometime around age 30. After that, we all begin to gradually lose bone. The thicker your bones are at about age 30, the longer it takes to develop low bone density or osteoporosis. Women can lose up to 5% of their bone mass in the first six years following menopause, thanks to a loss of estrogen. That means women can lose more than 20% of bone density in less than a decade. The good news is you can minimize bone loss by following these 16 simple ways to take care of your bone and encourage your loved one to do the same. Number one, soak up some sun. One of the main ways your body manufactures vitamin D is through your skin via sun exposure. That's why it is recommended to spend time outside in the sun to boost your vitamin D level naturally. Experts recommend 5 to 10 minutes of sun exposure 2 to 3 times a week. That's all you need to make enough vitamin D for your body, while avoiding the risk of skin cancer. Number 2. Run. Don't have much time? You don't need it. Doing it for 1 to 2 minutes per day provides a high-intensity workout that is linked to better measures of bone density. Number 3. Jump for joy. Not a fan of running or jogging? Try something from your childhood, jumping up and down. A simple jump produces micro stresses in the bone, and when the body restores this particular bone, it becomes stronger. A study revealed that jumping 10 or 20 times, twice a day, for 4 months, increased hip bone density in women ages 25 to 50. However, jumping may not be recommended for women with osteoporosis whose bones are already weak. Number 4. Stomp your feet. Similar to the noted benefits of jumping for bone density, simply stomping your feet can also help increase bone density in your hips. Do 4 stomps on each foot twice a day with enough pressure to crush a can. Number 5. Stretch it out. Lengthening tight muscles reduces back pain and promotes good spinal mechanics, flexibility, and posture. For maximum benefit, do stretches once or twice a day, holding each stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. Number 6. Play ball. It's easy to get caught up in the shoals of traditional exercise like running. But letting loose with a game of tennis, golf, or racquetball also is considered a weight-bearing activity that helps fortify your bone frame. Number 7. Do yoga. You may not think you have enough time for yoga, but you don't need a lot. It's worth the effort, because just 12 minutes of a daily yoga practice can help improve the bone mineral density in your spine, hips, and femur. Number 8. Go easy on bread and grains. A diet high in grains and bread may be bad for your bones. Research indicates that the sulfur compounds in grains can increase your body's acidity and trigger bone loss. Keep an eye on the amount of breakfast cereals, bread, rolls, crackers and cookies you eat every day. Add more fruits and vegetables to your diet can counteract acidity. Number 9. Don't drastically diet. Young active women can actually harm their bones by excessive exercise without meeting their daily energy needs. That's because exercising on an empty stomach often halts menstrual cycles, lowering the estrogen level in the body. When estrogen levels drop, a person may lose bone density. Number 10. Take supplements. It's challenging to get all the nutrients your body needs from the food you eat. Taking supplements can ensure you meet your daily needs. Most adults need 1,000 to 2,000 international units of vitamin D daily. For calcium, after menopause, most women need 1,000 to 1,500 mg a day, unless they take hormone therapy. Men between 50 and 70 years old need 1,000 mg a day. Men over 70 need 1,200 mg. And since your body absorbs only 500 mg of calcium at a time, divide your dosages out over the course of the day. Just be sure to check with your doctor to determine if any supplements you take might negatively impact the prescription medications you may be on. Number 11. Avoid salty foods. Foods that are high in salt or overly processed have been shown to prevent the body from absorbing calcium. Excessive amounts of salt in the blood can lead to bone demineralization, kidney stones, and high blood pressure. Number 12. Minimize consuming too much animal protein. 
Large amounts of animal protein result in excess nitrogen byproducts, which are products of metabolized protein that are considered waste by the body. This, then, damages the kidneys, affecting calcium levels in bones in the long run. The recommended daily protein intake is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. This means that it should be 56 grams daily for an average sedentary man, and 46 grams daily for an average sedentary woman. Number 13. Limit caffeinated beverages. Coffee has so many health benefits, but knocking back more than three cups a day can impair calcium absorption in your body. So limit yourself to one or two cups daily. Number 14. Get more sleep. Studies have shown that sleeping less than six hours a night can put you at a greater risk for developing osteoporosis. This is because the bones can't repair themselves without quality or sufficient sleep. Number 15. Have a little alcohol. People who drink moderately, no more than one drink a day for women, two for men, have higher bone density than non-drinkers or heavy drinkers. Beer may be particularly helpful because it contains dietary silicon, a nutrient vital for bone strength, but stick to one or two drinks. More than that can weaken bone building cells. Number 16. Quit smoking. There are countless reasons to stop smoking. Preserving your bones should be high up on that list. Smoking affects the body's ability to absorb calcium, leading to lower bone density and weaker bones. If you find this video helpful, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.